And it's not just the hospitals feeling the impact of all this. First responders who are trusted to get you to the hospital during emergencies, they're also facing a strain. And we told you on Monday that Medic is dealing with a staff shortage and that's affecting response times and even leading to them calling people an Uber or Lyft to get to the hospital. Channel 9's Ken Lemon continues our team coverage now. He's live outside the Medic headquarters. And Ken, you learned FEMA is helping out, but Medic says they would like more help. The deputy director tells me that 24 medics, those are people who answer the calls when there is an emergency, are on isolation because of COVID. He asked for, they all asked for here, 25 ambulances to help fill in the gaps. They're happy for the four that they got, but he says that's just a drop in the bucket. This is the help that so many people didn't realize was so needed in Mecklenburg County. It's a FEMA strike team, four ambulances and 10 medics to help an emergency service that most people, like Richard Davis of West Charlotte, believes stays ready. We'll be there if you need them. I told him about the staffing issues Medic is facing and the reason why it asked for and got some help. I'm not sure if that's enough for a city the size of Charlotte. Medic's leadership doesn't think so either. Uh, clearly, that's just a drop in the bucket from what we requested. The deputy director said they thoroughly considered their needs and decided they had to have 25 ambulances to handle the big jump in COVID cases, along with all the other calls. They're answering five times more COVID related cases daily than they saw before Christmas. Medic insists the shortfall won't impact call times the most serious calls. Our number one goal is to assure that we get to the sickest patients in the county the quickest. But those low priority non emergency calls will take a back seat. In fact, they may not even get an ambulance. They may get a ride share driver authorized by medic to take them to the hospital. If you are a low acuity patient, you may experience extended wait times up to 60 minutes. Medic says they're grateful for the four extra ambulances for two weeks. But with COVID numbers climbing, this will be a challenging time. So I reached out and late this afternoon, got a phone call back from FEMA in Atlanta. They told me they had 25 ambulances with medics for the entire state because of finite, re finite resources. They say it is up to officials with the Department of Health and Human Services on the state level to decide where those resources go. We're still waiting to hear back from them. Scott. Ken, thank you for that update.